All right, welcome to another edition of Madden 2022 for the PC. I'm gonna roll out to Chicago, take on the Bears, see how good they are. Again, I'm not doing a franchise until the patch comes out where the all the features that are talking about adding uh, come out. Because yeah, there's no point in work in a franchise that you're just going to have to restart when they add all these features. We'll see Andy Dalton and the Chicago Bears taking on Ryan Fitzpatrick and the Washington football team. And trying to make sure I play at least every other day. You know, I haven't played Madden since 2007. So I'm trying to get back into the game and see if I can at least become competent at Madden. I yeah, back in the day, I was actually a really good Madden player. I won a bunch of local tournaments. You know, I used to beat the crap out of my friends and family all the time. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Well, for the first time, here comes the Chicago Bear offense, led out by the veteran in his first season in Chicago, but 11th overall, the Red Rifle Andy Dalton. I love his football IQ. I love his ability to have people rally around him. And as he likes to remind me all the time when I get ready to call one of his games, I can run it a little bit too. A nice presence to have on your team. The first down throw coming for Dalton. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. A good safe the Bears can see right if the, the Bears that's almost a play Dalton. Play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. Or do they go with Justin Fields? Just keep moving from there because the confidence I'm a big believer in if you got, if you have a rookie like quarterback like that you like think in the game, is the franchise, so go ahead and play him. I don't think guys learn much sitting on the bench and watching. You learn by doing. And if, you know, people talk about, oh, you know, you'll ruin his confidence, this, that, whatever. If, they, if a guy can't play, if a guy can't play a couple games, you know, I don't know, I just don't believe that. Confidence crap. You look at Peyton Manning, he had about as horrific a rookie year as you could possibly imagine. I think he threw like at least 25 interceptions. He was terrible. They have the matchups and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. They look to throw on third with Dalton, and that is incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. I don't, don't buy the punt here. Short, He's this would be the perfect it, spot. Yeah, in the fake. first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Mm -hmm. O'Donnell, he's on to so there's no point even trying away. to get a return on that. You're not going to. Gonna... I think just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. The Washington offense about ready to go to work. And at quarterback in his 17th season now in the NFL, piloting his ninth different franchise, it's Ryan Fitzpatrick. And I think by now, we know what we're going to get with Ryan He was a big-time Redskins fan. You know, I lived through the glory game, days. Second to none. But he also has a bit of a tendency yeah, it's been a rough, you know, 20-plus years. Sometimes that works out. Sometimes it costs his team, but never a moment when he's on the field. And he's going to get this one but, you know, across I'm the 30 yards. Cautiously line. optimistic. I hate, you know, for 20 years, you know, they, all we've heard out of Redskin Park is, oh, the culture's changing, this is changing, that, you know, rah, 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 you know. He's kind of tone deaf to that now and, and take a more of a, you know, you want me to believe, show me on the field. So, you know, they're talking about, oh, we won the division last year. No, we won the division by default. It's only because every other team in the in our division was trash. You know, we were a 7-9 and nine division winner. So I wouldn't even call last year successful. Uh, you know, they're talking about expecting big things 
Ryan's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. This year, but the absolute ultimate redskin thing to do would be they go 4-12 this year. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I mean, that, like I said, that would be... And loosen things up. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Two yards, good enough for a first. Hmm, I've been cramming it down his throat. Let's try to go for a little play action here. My read's going to be Thomas, Samuel, then Gibson. On play action, Fitzpatrick. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. A gain of six there on first. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. On second down now, it's Gibson. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Wow, my it's line is gashing these dudes. A pickup mm. of 11. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Fitzpatrick now to throw on first down. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Oh. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Look at... Well, how close was he to catching that? <clears throat> so, my read was, I was reading that safety right there. As soon as the ball, as soon as I hiked the ball, that's the guy I was eyeballing. As soon as I saw him cut in like that, I knew Scary Terry would be one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm going to throw it to him. He's got him beat. He's got a step on him. Ugh. For it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, we had a better quarterback. They let you play and jostle downfield. Second and ten. To throw is Fitzpatrick. A throw to the flat here for McKissick. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now. So, <clears throat> I've talked about it before, about my gripe with Madden as a animation-based game. So... My first read was D D Diami Brown, right here. He's covered. And then my second was to McKissick. So I'm watching Brown up the center. So, you know, there's three guys right there. So McKissick's open. Heck, even Logan Thomas was open. I could have thrown it to him. But, so I throw it. I throw it. Now, do Running smoothly toward the sidelines and up, he should get a lot of yards. But notice the animation. You know, the, he's locked into that animation and it ruins any chance of turning that into... something decent. Going with my money play here. Fullback dive goal line. It's... Nearly impossible to stop for the computer. I've been running this particular play for almost as long as I've been playing like modern Madden from you know, PS2 era on. It doesn't even matter that I've got a tight end running it. Because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot. Right, looking at Scary Terry or Curtis Samuel. 
from the 27. Fitzpatrick, he's going to go up top for the end zone. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. Completes it to Samuel. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very you know, Fit, accurate. Fitzpatrick, you know, shoot, I should have had, nice had two touchdown passes already there. The field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. So I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get yeah, I'm looking at Adam now. Humphreys they here battle, or Logan Thomas. Second down and goal, Fitzpatrick. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. I, a minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute I remaining mean. in the opening quarter. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Oh, I knew. This is going to be <laughs> I knew when I picked that play. I was going to throw an interception. His guys mm -hmm. will get the football back. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were... And so here's my biggest weakness right now, Madden, is locking on a target. But heck, you know, nobody's open. Nobody's open at all. Mm. Knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice tough run inside and they gained five yards yeah, on I, it. And be I need a good it. play Most for a good passing play for like you know, so in the red do, zone. They go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Because yeah, I, I don't have one that I'm comfortable with, you know, and... So first and ten Since I've from the come back to playing Madden, I notice I throw a lot of interceptions uh, in the red zone, especially. I don't know if it's just, you know, I'm under pressure and I'm just freaking out. Now again, running left with Montgomery. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. They're making the stop. Jonathan Bostic, leading tackler for Washington last year. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Dalton. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And they're going to have another first down mm. here as the tackle. Dalton is on fire. 38-yard line. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. Oh, Brandon, this is a I'll take that. Back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. On first and ten, it's Gibson. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. The tackle by Robert Quinn. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Mm -hmm. So the Bears Great have said, yeah, you're not running the ball anymore. They won their battles at the line of I'm going to be reading the safety here to no see if McLaurin could run. be potentially really nice open up top. To the ball On 
on second and nine. Fitzpatrick. And Thomas has it. Fitzpatrick to his tight end, Thomas, for the Washington first. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space. Yeah, I'm looking at Humphreys or... Off the play fake here, Fitzpatrick. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. The credit that sack to Robert Quinn. Oh, they sit him on the Dude, blitz from that last spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right yeah, It's there. funny, we have the Charles Leno is our left so tackle, and we got him from Chicago. I'm freaking terrified. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, that was a... I knew it. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole What's lot going on with my scheme is it's got me playing it. Buying time to his left. Mm. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. You ever get one of those where your brain says, oh, don't throw that, and your thumb says, screw you, I'm pushing the button. That was exactly that situation right there. Throwing again on second down. Dalton. It's complete to Robinson. And I'll take that hold. What? at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Don't not play action. That's complete to Mooney. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 24 yards the game there, another first down as well. Well, we knew that Darnell Mooney could absolutely fly, but he was only taken in the fifth round out of Tulane because of his size. He ended up being one of the better late round picks in the NFL last year. 61 catches on the season. There's another one there, this time for a first down. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the eight. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. The ball on the eight still could get a first down technically, second and seven. Dalton here from the gun over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Third down from the gun. Dalton. Yeah, he's got Moody in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. A seven-yard touchdown grab as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it's a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Yeah, I was going to say they're... A look at the running back. The celebration. Field as he gears up mm. to go again. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing. Their celebration the should, song should just be. I can trash it, Madden. Expand how you get the ball to him a little mm. bit. Get him out in open space. Maybe swing the ball to him. What's that? They used to call him the West Coast. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. 
Eddie Jackson picks it. Three first half interceptions now, and Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that side. And don't you just love how, you know, should be because essentially he's been a little loose the cpu he gets the literally the 12 seconds to throw the freaking ball doesn't matter if i even Jeff do himself. get pressure he could have a half a second and he's gonna throw a dot to whoever he's gonna throw to you yeah, know my offensive line yeah they're lucky if they give me two seconds the intended receiver marquise goodwin but it's gonna be second down To throw here, Dalton. This is caught by Robinson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Two veterans there, Dalton to Robinson. For the and Chase Young down. and Montez Sweater, you know, probably one of the best half. defensive line, the defensive end combos in the game. And they are just invisible in Madden. Inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. As they get but I guarantee if I was playing another team, to go in the first half. if I was playing another team, uh, and, you know, the computer was controlling them, you know, they would be all over me every play. This will be Dalton again. There's Moody with another catch. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. To throw again on second down. Dalton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And it's third and short. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Despite only needing one, Dalton to throw. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. And it'll be Dalton again. Open man is Komet, the tight end. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Throwing, Dalton. This is caught. And he's brought down. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. <coughs> with just the lone touchdown Talk in. about absolutely locking out. We check in with Jonathan. Well, that came a little abruptly here. So working on my apple up in the booth. Hang on here. Let me spit this out. Talk about locking out. Quarter now. Danny Johnson returning. A good return. uh, considering how bad I've played to be only down off. seven zip. Hmm. I would actually sort of consider that a win. Offense heading back out there, and that first half was nothing short of a disaster. Zero points on the scoreboard in a big three in the INT column. So they've got to get him going, obviously, right? So you've got to get him in rhythm, and we always think of short passes. I think of jet sweeps where they just kind of toss the ball forward. You know that counts as a forward pass. And then you can say to him, look at that. You completed three, four, five in a row. Now you've got to get your confidence going. A gain of six I, mean, I would say two of those three interceptions in the first half were my fault. That third one, he was hit when he was throwing. There was nothing on the ball, so I don't really say that's my fault. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. 
49 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Fitzpatrick on first down. They'll dump that off to Gibson complete. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. Fitzpatrick throwing complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The interception last drive there. He hits the reliable target. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in. Now Fitzpatrick hit. It's out. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. The 30. Past the 20. And they bring this All right. back. So it's going to be one of these games. Mm. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Santo. Danny Johnson now from his end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. We were down there. That message would have been received a whole different way because turnovers, they've been a big problem for them. Got to take care of the football. Got to hold on to it. Lines up and lets it go for Samuel. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Washington. Great job, Fitzpatrick. Curtis Samuel, 72 yards. And Washington able to make this a close game again. And correct me Great keeping wrong, your head in the game, route, making the right no, read. Knew the Bears down. would screw up eventually. When I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and 10. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here's Dalton. And this is going to be incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. 
They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. That'll go as a 39-yard punt. Give him nine on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and ten. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points. It got his man complete. Touchdown, what Washington. A comeback by the Washington football yards. team. You can't keep this team down forever just like that. Two quick plays. Boom. Tie game. Found him downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches. Gotta love Fitz Tragic. Has terrible three interceptions. First half. Keeps his head in the game. But when you finally hit him and he carries it all Hits two bombs. That's what you're Boom. That right back in this game. They can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch. Take it to the house. It's a touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Heavy pressure and down goes Dalton. There we go, Chase. Chase Young able to drop him for a loss of a couple. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I could dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Second and 12. Now Montgomery running right, and not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Robinson. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. I think it. I've Look, done a good job defending the run. But that also doesn't mean you just I'll do take the three yards of carry. The entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. <laughs> second down that was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation got out to the tight end now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down could be four down territory even if they don't get this but they need just a few inches here on third they'll run it here's montgomery wow a first down and then some for montgomery and he is in touchdown chicago I had to say it, didn't I? Oh, I'm doing good defending the run, and I give up a big one. But, you know, when you're in an all-out sort of run blitz, if he hits the hole right, that's what happens. Returning it, Johnson. 
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Oh. It's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a, a hole. It was really mm -hmm. easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. They'll run here with... Gibson and able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Trying to decipher what's going on yep. out there because I don't know if he's just yes, getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense. Chicago is players him. have I don't know if he just has fly paper and defense. And they are on my guys like white on rice. He's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. There's several bad decisions on the interception team, yeah. and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time. Oh. Picked off at the 48, and nearly a touchdown as they finally stop him down at about the three yard line. Come on, guys, dig deep. Goal after the interception, a quick change in the situation here. They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. David Montgomery, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Santos with the extra point. And the lead now. All right, got a big hole. <clears throat> Big hold over here, Santos to kick this one away. Here comes Johnson on the return. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown. Way to go. Terry McLaurin. Way to go, Fitzpatrick. Touchdowns here so far. And Washington has you make a mistake and you redeem yourself. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. From the 31, Dalton. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Another nice pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They'll run on first down. 
It's Montgomery. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. He's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, and that'll bring up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The second down and Tim Fair knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. He's going to wind up and air it out. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown. J.D. 37 yards. And Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up. <clears throat> Fitzy seems like he's got his head on better and reading the field better. Now, a fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. So right back to square one. Tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Washington defense getting ready. And the interception for them the last time, and that turned into six points. You think during their break they reminded the offense that, hey, we helped you guys Remember out that a little guy? bit, yeah. right? You know, they want to see if they can do it again for them. They're putting together an entire team game by how they're playing on defense. So the interception, the last drive, what will happen here? It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. The Bears on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This will be third and five. Here's Dalton. Down goes Dalton on the sack. Off the edge, the sack by Matt Ioannidis. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. On the return, Carter. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. How about the football team? Out there set ready for this next drive. We haven't won yet, but talk about a gutsy performance. Excellent Being down by multiple to touchdowns and twice this, this game and able to come back and be in a position to win it here at the end. And into Bear territory. 71 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So they'll come up after the gain of seven. That's what you call never giving up, three. never surrender. They'll go again with Gibson. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Touchdown! Oh, oh. Logan Thomas. Thomas. Washington has get him a little play action bit there. So what a comeback here. They looked like they might be down and out not too long ago, but they have rallied back to take a fourth quarter lead. And I think we've got to give them nothing. Yeah, good call by the announcer. This team the did look down and out. Mentally, they were on the ropes. They dug go, deep, they pulled there, themselves out. Changes and adjustments, and that led to some big plays, and it turned this game on its ear. 
Extra point good by Hopkins. Way to go, team. They will take a seven-point lead. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Bears now ready to take over again. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Dalton, first and ten. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And Dalton to throw. He finds Robinson. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Now Dalton. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Darnell Mooney the target there. And it'll bring up third down. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one he's fortunate just fell incomplete. Another chance for Dalton. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Hopkins with the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone. Yeah, for the a touchdown. 28 so point the swing. You don't see that in Madden down. that often. This one's in the air. I got to give mad credit to myself. I played much better in the second half. Getting set to go again, Andy Dalton. It could have been super easy to just quit this game, but I stuck game. with it. I mean, look at the numbers. It's falling off. When, when a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually, there's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone that can get in his ear, Get with him and say, all right, my man, what do you need? What's going on here? So there's one person he can lean on. He's going to have to lean on that guy right now. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Dalton. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. Darnell Mooney, the target there. And it's second down. Here's Dalton. Going to get this to Cohen. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Now Dalton. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. And again, Andy Dalton to throw. Swings this out here for Cohen. Now the Bears are going to call the first mm, of their wanna, timeouts. As they'll talk it over here. Before they want to throw all that little nickel and dime down. crap. Let them. Out of the gun. It's Dalton. Time is on my side. Mm. And, that's and he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps him. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry-up offense. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Andy Dalton. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. 
So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Throwing here, Fitzpatrick slings this deep from McLaurin. Oh, oh, oh. Man, scary Terry. Washington. Terry McLaurin. Fold the Bears. Yards. And Washington going to add on to their lead. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Well, it's like this team didn't wake up until, like, Another late in the third quarter. I mean, you know, they were just late. playing like Another trash. Just one last drive here for Pride. You know, all of a sudden they, you know, scored 14 quick points, thought it was going to turn around again, and boom, it's like they went back to sleep. He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better. And they went back to sleep, and, you know, boom, they were down by 14 again, and then boom. It just came alive. And they've been firing on all cylinders ever since. And use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. On first and ten, here's Andy Dalton. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. So Dalton now, and that throw behind his man. He missed him, incomplete. Trying to get it to Tariq Cohen out of the backfield. And it's third down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Kendall Fuller. <sighs> well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's Hail to the Redskins. Win. Hail victory. Boy, it's a tough fought game, but, they can't help but turned it on in the second half game. and put them away. Game. Great them job. Well, that's another exhibition game from Madden 2022 PC. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. And carry it with them. And as an